Hi everybody, it's week five of social distancing and isolation. So it's time for this week's Pro Tip 5. But first, I hope everyone out there is safe and healthy. And I wanna wish all of you and your families a happy Easter. And for those of you who celebrated Passover, I hope you had a happy Pesach. Now onto this week's Pro Tip. You know, as a way to stay connected, many of us are using video conferencing for the first time, or we're certainly using it more than we've ever used it in the past. You might be using FaceTime or Google Hangouts. You might be using WebEx or Zoom. The list just goes on and on. So this week's pro tip is how do you look and sound better during your video calls? And since there's really so much ground to cover here, we're gonna break this into five separate pro tips over the course of the week, focusing on lighting, which is today, camera angles, sound, background, and etiquette. So here's the first tip I'm gonna give you, which is for all things video conferencing. When in doubt, use your phone. If you've got a phone that's two years older or newer, and it's not a flip phone or an iPhone 3S, use your phone. It's got a better lens, it's got better cameras on it than you have on your laptop. So let's go ahead and get started. First things first, lighting in all things is essential. I know this firsthand because my wife, Dana, she reminds me of this daily. In fact, we've been known to actually leave a restaurant because the lighting is bad. So unless you wanna look like someone hiding in the shadows who's providing some anonymous mafia confessions on Dateline, or you have some strange orange tint on you like an Oompa Loompa or a current president, or you wanna look like an extra from The Walking Dead, you've got to get this right. So here are some ways that you can make lighting a home run for your next video conference. So the first thing is, if you get a chance, make sure you've got the natural light in front of you, allowing your face to be lit. Um, if you're in a situation where you're gonna have to have natural light behind you, we'll talk a little bit about lighting that with a lamp. But you'll also notice here, I've got the natural light coming in and you see I got down on my desk here, I've got white papers, right? So a lot of our desks are either uh, wood or sometimes they're clear glass like mine. That's terrible for lighting, right? It's either gonna absorb it or it's gonna go straight through. So put a white tablecloth or some white paper on top of your desk and that's gonna reflect the light up and allow us to actually look natural versus looking like a white walker from Game of Thrones. So I'm a big fan of these circle lights. You know, they come in various sizes and the better ones have filters that you can put on them to cast better lighting on your face. This is one from a company called Mount Dog. Now look, I know that's a terrible name unless you're making a 70s porno movie, but for less than $60, you can get a circle light, filters, and a stand to allow you to make proper adjustments. So if you don't wanna invest in a, in, a, in a circle light here, that's fine. You can just use a household lamp but just make sure you either set it up at, at, at 10 o'clock or a two o'clock angle. I recommend picking your good side. Now I have trouble with that, right? So I just gotta pick a side, but you have a good side or a bad side, let's light up that side. If you're one of these really good looking people and you don't have to make a choice, good for you, light up both sides, that's awesome. So there you have it, three great tips on how to improve the lighting for your video conferencing and a shameless plug for Mount Dog. So, but you know what? You don't have to take my word for it. You know, why don't we hear from one of our satisfied listeners who sent us a videotape. Hi, my name is Michael, and I am not a paid actor. I'm just a financial advisor who's learning to work in new ways. This is what my video conference calls used to look like. But then my pal, Steve Den, dropped one of his pro tips on me, and voila! This is what my video conference calls look like now. I no longer look like I'm in the witness protection program, and it's doing wonders for my business. Thank you, Mount Dog, and thank you, Steve Denton. Hey, Michael, thank you for sharing that. And thank you for your courage of sharing your story. You know, it's just another satisfied listener taking advantage of a pro tip. I had a chance this weekend to actually talk to Michael by phone, and when he shared with me how much of an impact this was having on his business, it's just making a world of difference. Imagine what it could do for you. So those are the pro tips that I have for you today around lighting up your video conference. We'll check in a couple of times this week on, on sound and some other topics. Until then, happy Easter. Be safe, take care of each other, and be good to each other. This is Steve. Peace.